had been kind of a quest to find a good uh, uh, white noise machine for uh, aid in sleeping. And uh, this is the latest candidate. Now this guy, uh, in addition to white noise, has a, a light feature, so you can use it as a night light. And uh, I like this one better than a lot of them, but there's a lot to take in here, a lot to process. And there's some stuff in here that, that I don't know. I'm not so hot. No, not so hot. So let's take a look at the features of this guy. Okay, first things first, this guy requires power the whole time he's uh, running. It doesn't have battery backup or anything like that, which is not a, that unusual. Um, it uses a USB-C power port that comes in the back. Um, and like a lot of these uh, night, uh, night white noise machines, I am kind of puzzled by the fact that the people who made it decided it would be a good idea to put two of the controls here, another batch of controls here, and in this case, uh, another control on top. Um, folks, it's nice to have everything in one place, okay? Now the dome here has um, two modes. It has a white light mode and a colored mode. And I have to admit, I have a lot of problems with this light, with this, getting this thing to work. You're supposed to, you're supposed to tap it twice to get it to start. And that worked great that time, it came right on. That's a nice warm color. If you change the mode to RGB, you're gonna get some weird colors that you can change by tapping the thing. Let's see what that looks like. So a single push on the mode button, and now I start cycling through uh, some weird colors like this. Now, um, the intensity of this guy you can control by supposedly just holding down the, your hand on top of the things, right? So if you hold your hand on top of it, it gets brighter and brighter, or darker and darker. And this is the part I have a hard time getting to work. So it should be getting dimmer and dimmer. There you go, dimmer and dimmer. And now if I do it again, it should get brighter and brighter and brighter. Um, with this crazy purple color, so that's about maximum brightness there. So that's the control of the light, and it has a, also its timer function is in the back here. You can see we've got uh, a timer for 30, 60, 90, or 120 minutes. The controls on the front of the machine are exactly what you'd expect in a white noise machine. You can cycle through white noise. And you hear that little jingle. One of the things I like about it is that at least you can tell when you're, when you're starting over in the sequence by that little jingle. So if I say, ah, that's the one. Two, two past the jingle. Next time I want to find it, jingle two past it. Stop and start like that. Various uh, other tones can be got from that guy. Crickets, thunderstorm, the usual stuff. Uh, simulated fan noise, and then your, your volume up and down is here. The controls are very uh, sensitive. I don't have a hard time touching them. They work right away every time. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> when you're carrying it around, it's really easy to set these things off by mistake. Um, the fidelity of the thing is better than some of the other cheap units I've, I've used. Um, it sounds okay. The high end is now all washed out. So that's your kid's night light. Um, so anyway, pretty basic white noise machine uh, with a weird uh, light feature that you may or may not like, may or may not have trouble controlling, but uh, it does the job.